So, here we are with another whiskey review. Whiskey review. This is number six, I think, when we're reviewing Lafroig for 10 years. It's been a while. I have not done a whiskey review since June. It's just been. It's, I, I, I want to get back into it, but let's just get into it. This is Lafroig for 10 years. You probably have seen this in the shops or if. We're at a restaurant. It's really nice. So that's the glass. This is what it comes in. It's like a tube. I'll put that down there for now. So I tried this at a pub last year at some point because I heard a lot of people talking like this is incredible, this is amazing, this is it's insane, it's mind-blowing how good it is. Now, it is really nice, I really enjoy having it. And now, people who enjoy this, if you like Lafroy, you are a rare breed. Because a lot of people who try this think it's too much. Whereas I think it's just nice. Let's give it a try. Um, so yeah, I tried this at a pub, and I really liked it. And people were like, "How can, you, how can you like that?" That's just either they don't like whiskey overall, or they just think it's too much. That's the general opinion. But I obviously am a whiskey fan, so let's see. Lafroy, pronounced Lafroy, is a all malt Scotch whiskey from the remote islands of Italy in the Western Isles of Scotland. Lafroy is a Gaelic word. And it means the beautiful hollow by the broad bay. Now, what I've heard about this whiskey is that you need to close your eyes when you're trying it and imagine yourselves in the Highlands of Scotland. So, the smell is, the nose is really like it's all a woody, wood type smell. This is not something that's like an easy to drink whiskey. This is really hard. So, it's, you are, as I said, you're a rare breed. If you drink it and enjoy it. Oh wait, I forgot to close my eyes. I forgot to close my eyes and imagine myself myself in the hills of Scotland with waves. Very nice. <laughs> it tastes it tastes quite mad. It's really nice, but um, I really like the bottle that comes in as well. I don't know why. It's rare that I like green bottles, um, but this and proper twelve, I think, does it quite well. The flavors is it's, it's it's mad. It is mad. If you're a whiskey drinker, it's quite it's quite mad. Um, as I said, if you like whiskey that is on the Isles. You will certainly enjoy this. If you like Arbeg, you will certainly enjoy this. I think Arbeg and Lafroig are really, really similar. So, where can you get it? You can get it pretty much anywhere. You can get it in like, you'll probably be able to get it in your local supermarket. I got mine from Tesco's. Um, no, I didn't. I got it from Sainsbury's. But you can get it in Tesco. Um, so you can pretty much get it anywhere. It's, it's a well-known whiskey, it's a well-loved whiskey. You're going to get it pretty much anywhere. But as I said before, this is not an easy to drink whiskey. This is not one of those... You know how I said Bells is a good starting whiskey? Yes. This is not that. But it's wonderful. <laughs> um, so if you like whiskey and you're able to get your hands on it, certainly do. So yeah, that's my review of Lafroy. Um oh, it's really nice. I I've not had this in a way. So a lot of people are asking where the reviews been, where are they? Now I like doing whiskey reviews, I really enjoy doing them. This was a huge break in between episodes. It's just because I like to do a lot of other things other than drink whiskey. You know, I drink whiskey in my spare time, I don't always review them. If I get a new bottle I keep it until I'm able to review it. Obviously, I've, I, this isn't like the first time I've tried it because I have drank it before. 
There you go. A Freud 10, if you were able to buy it, get your hand on it. This is 30, between 30 and 40 pounds. Langeva.